Everything you need to know about renting a kimono in Japan part 2. So along with the kimono rental, you can also get your hair done and it's actually pretty affordable. I got this braided star done for 500 yen and it also came with the hair accessory rental as well. Now I wasn't able to film inside the change room, but it's really important to know that there are so many layers to the kimono and they make them really, really tight. So make sure you go to the bathroom before you get started because once everything's on, it is quite difficult. It's also good to know that traditional sandals are included with your kimono outfit, but they're not the most comfortable, so your feet are probably going to be hurting by the end of the day. Now, if you are planning on doing lots of walking in the kimono, it might be a good idea to keep your regular shoes on and then swap out for the sandals when you're ready for your photos. This is not the normal practice, but it might be worth considering if you are doing a lot of walking. And finally, you need to return your kimonos by a certain time or you'll be charged extra fees. Now, our slot was 6.30pm, which was more than enough time for getting in all our photos, but just be aware so you don't get called out, and there's normally an option to return the next day if you prefer that. 